Everlong, ever heard of it? By the Food Fighters. My name's Stuart, let's learn this song. It's got three parts. The hardest part's gonna be the rhythm. Chords aren't that bad. We're in drop D tuning. If you are not familiar with drop D tuning, what that means is this lowest string, the top string here, which is normally tuned to an E, Eddie Eight Dynamite. It's tuned to an E, but we're gonna tune it down to a D. So you get your clip-on tuner and you tune it down, you loosen it until the tuner says, D. Another little trick you can do. So look, look, look. Now I'm in standard tuning. If I play this third string from the top, and then I play the top string, okay, I'm gonna loosen the top string until that top string sounds the same as the third string, but just lower. It's an octave lower, but they like match up like the same note. That's drop D tuning. I feel like that was a very boring way to start the video. Um, okay, let me let me show you the verse. I said um for too long. Everything about today. Everything about today is not working the way I planned. All right, first chord, top, top string is open. Our open D string. Pointer finger. Ninth fret on the A string, the second string from the top. You see that right there? And then ring finger or pinky, what do I do? I do ring finger. Ring finger on the 11th fret of the D string, the third string from the top. So it's top string open, next string's on the ninth fret, ring finger or pinky, but ring finger on the 11th fret of the third string from the top. We're gonna play those top three strings, those lowest three notes quite a bit. The uh, the bottom three strings, the highest the highest notes, if possible, try to get your pointer finger to just kind of touch them and mute them. So that way, if you play them, it won't be a problem. It won't sound bad. You've got your first chord all ready to go. And we're gonna, I feel so naked without my sunglasses on my hair. How do we feel about having all the trash up here on the top shelf? Let's learn the song. There's our chord, we've got it. Maybe I do use the pinky. Guys, I don't know. Okay, here's this. You're gonna play this chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eleven, twelve, 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 16 times. For right now, for I promise we are going to learn the specific way that he plays it, but for right now, we're just gonna play that chord, aim for the top three strings, 16 times. It's way too hard to count from one to 16, keeping the tempo, so we're gonna count to eight twice because eight plus eight is 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it? And then, pointer finger, which has been up until this point just sitting on the A string, the second string from the top. You're now going to push on the top string and the second string from the top. So see how my pointer finger smashed down on nine on those top two strings. My pinky stays in the same spot, the 11th fret of the D string, or is it ring finger? We'll never know. We'll never know which finger. I guess they both work. You're gonna play this chord 16 times, eight plus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you hear how out of tune? Ooh, golly gee whiz. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Take the same shape with your hand, but you're gonna scoot it backwards. One, two, three, four frets. So now your pointer finger is smashing down on the fifth fret of the top two strings. Pinky is on the seventh fret of the D string. Which camera is this? Is it that camera or that camera? Oh, it's that one. Okay, I think I've been looking at the wrong one. There we go. There we go. This one, uh, what did I say? Fifth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. You're gonna play this chord not 16 times, just eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go right back up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four frets back up to the ninth fret. So now pointer fingers back on nine on the top two strings. Pinky is down on 11 of the D string, third string from the top. You're gonna play this chord 16 times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go through that whole thing. So we've got first chord here, open top string, open nine, 11. Then the next one, nine, nine, 11. And then five, five, 
seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Let's do it again slower. Let's do it slowly. I did it as fast as humanly possible just now. Notice with the strumming, we're we're gonna add some more variation to the strumming, like David Grohl from the Food Fighters. What he does is his first name David. I don't know. You uh, let, let's do slower. That's what I was trying to say, right? One, two, nice and slow. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flatten out your pointer finger. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's phase one. Phase one is just learning those chords. Those are the chords to the verse of the song. I'm strumming down. That's what I was gonna say earlier. I'm just strumming down on all of those. I forget which camera it is. Phase two. We're gonna learn the exact articulations, the strumming style for this first part of the song. <clears throat> Get your first chord ready. Play the top string open two times. But this is very, very important. I don't want you to very carefully go and just pluck the top string twice. I want you to act like you're strumming the whole chord, but just aim for the top string. If you hit another string, no big deal. I just want you to go. See, I hit that second string from the top a little. It sounded fine. That's the first step. Then you are going to strum again, but you're gonna aim for not the top string. You're gonna aim for the next two strings only. If you hit the top string a little bit, no big deal. It's gonna sound great. Let me show you what I mean. Top string twice, and then aim for those next ones. See that? So I'm going top, top, second two strings. If it, like I said, if you hit the top string on that third strum, no big deal. Listen, it still sounds good. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we need like a code word for this because we're gonna be sometimes playing the top string, sometimes aiming for those, those next two. Um, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna tell you in advance what I'm about to propose is not gonna work. We're gonna call the top string boom. We're gonna call the second two strings from the top bat. So we're going boom, boom, bat. For some reason, I feel like that helps. Boom, boom, bat. Great. After that, we're gonna go boom again. Boom, boom, bat, boom. But there's more. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. Do it with me. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. Here we go. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. Oh! Little bit slower those times. Spanish for two. One, two, here we go. And a boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. Did I say what comes next? Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat. I want to tell you something. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. One, two, here we go. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. Little, little floor for those of you in the back. One, two, two times, here we go. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, one more time, play it forever. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. What I'm, what I'm about to say right now is gonna sound like a joke. This is not a joke. When you don't even have your guitar with you, you're just walking around the house, you're just going down the street, you're just sitting on the bus, you're just going to the fair, you're just on Splash Mountain at Disneyland, you're just eating food with your family, I would like you to say out loud or think to yourself, boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. 
boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. If, if you do that, it will forever ingrain this rhythm in your heart, mind, and soul, and it will be easier to play when you do pick up your guitar. But there's more, because look, boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. That's eight. So that's, I told you we played that first chord 16 times. This accounts for the first half of it, the first eight times. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat. And then I have to think about what the next part is. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat, bat. Whoa, you are in for a treat. Second half goes like this. The second half of the strumming pattern is boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. Three bats in a row. The whole thing, all the way through. First, we're going to say it. Don't spray it. Then we're going to play it. Say it. Don't spray it. Then play it. That's what I always say. I'm going to make sh shirts and hats and wallets and cars that say that on it. I'm going to sell them. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat. Bat, boom, bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. Sound like a crazy person. This is legitimately the rhythm of the song. We've we've done it. Let's let's play it and say it together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's let's only play it nice and slowly. One, two, three, four, boom. Amazing. We've done it. We've solved the case of the missing strumming pattern by David Grohl and the Food Fighters. But now we have to do more stuff. Now we have to go to the second chord, but there's good news. That whole entire strumming pattern you just did for that first chord is what we do on the second chord. Remember the next chord where you just put your pointer finger on the ninth fret on the top two strings? Do the exact same pattern. Boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. We go down to the fifth fret. Remember that chord? I'm not gonna explain it again. This one, we don't we don't do the same boom boom bat pattern. We just go boom boom bat boom 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 bat boom 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 bat boom 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 bat. I played it too long though. Boom boom bat boom 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 bat. So that was boom boom bat boom 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 bat. Boom. Who cares? Eight just play it this one, just play it eight times. Nobody cares. Then you go back up to the ninth fret. That chord. This one, uh, nobody cares about this one either. Just play it 16 times. Are we ready to put this together? You and I, together, as a team, we've got it. And we're gonna do it slowly, though. We're gonna do it slowly, like a roly-poly. One, two, three, four. your applause. Now that we've done that for a half an hour at least, I would like to tell you that if you don't actually want to do this whole boom bat thing, if you just strum it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's going to be fine. Like, you're not going to get sued. It's going to be fine. That's the verse of the song. He does that 10 trillion times. He does it l literally like eight times or something. It might be six. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't care. We're moving on to the verse. Chorus, the pre-chorus, the pre-chorus to this song has octaves. Ever heard of octaves? I'm doing a lot of this today. I am in such a bad mood today. And I am doing everything in my power to over exude my bad mood with exuberance. What a, what a great time we're all having. What a fantastic day this is, and there are gonna be great things in the world, right? It's not even, there, are, I'm. 
I want some water, but there's no water in here. The lot of water just fell out of there. Pre-chorus. So here's what's here's what's happening here. We've got some octaves. That's like a certain little music thing, and it's a certain guitar shape that I will show you. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. See that right there? Uh, this is crucial. This is crucial. You want to push on the fourth fret on the second string from the top. At the same time, the pad of your finger right here needs to touch the next string and mute it. We do not want to hear that next string, okay? It's important. So it should be top string open, fourth fret on the next string, muted next one. Then take your pinky, this time I really do use my pinky, I use my pinky for this, and put it on the sixth fret of the G string. That's the fourth string from the top. So we've got open, fourth fret, muted, and then sixth fret. Hopefully, the bottom two strings, those highest two strings, are also muted. I use kind of the base of my pointer finger to mute them. Also, my pinky kind of mutes them. So we've got a lot of options there. Two options. This is our first octave. It's an octave because this note is a C sharp. This note is also a C sharp. We have a low C sharp and a high C sharp. For some reason, I could not say C sharp there. It's called an octave. And that's that. You're going to play this chord three times. Now, in the studio recording, in the studio acoustic version of the song, you can tell he's going down, up, down for the strumming, but I was watching a live video of Dave Grohl playing this song by himself on the acoustic guitar, and he was strumming down, 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 and I'm like, very interesting. He does it different ways at different times. I, for, for us right now, we are going to go down, 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 um, because it's a little bit easier. I think it's, it has a driving sound, and that's what we're gonna do. So we've got that first one, and we're gonna strum down, down, down on that new little chord we just figured out. Then you're just gonna take that exact same thing, you're gonna move it one fret up, so now you're on the fifth fret and the seventh fret, but still on the same strings, and you're going to strum down, down, down. Then you're gonna take that same little shape, and you're gonna move it up one, two frets. So now we're on seven, and nine, and you're gonna strum down, down, down. So that was down, 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 down. Fantastic. Take that same shape and please move it one, two frets further. So now you're on the ninth fret and the eleventh fret. So do we play that one three times? Let's check. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We do it three times, but it's actually not true because immediately after you play this one three times, you're gonna strum it again. Then scoot that same shape with your hand one fret up. Play that just one time. Then lift up your pointer finger entirely. Keep your pinky there, but lift up your pointer finger and strum the open strings. So trust me, I know that sounds weird, but trust me, we're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do that again. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Easy. Um, then we're gonna change. We're gonna go to this chord. Pointer finger is going to smash down on the seventh fret on the top three strings. Take a big long look at that. Pointer finger smash down on the top string, second string from the top, third string from the top, all on the seventh fret. Pinky is going to play the ninth fret on the fourth string from the top, the G string. So we've got bum 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 bum. When you get to this chord, let's see. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go. Like I said, the different ways to play it. We're gonna play. We're gonna strum it right away. There's a little pause, there's a little like half beat pause. Then you're gonna strum down, 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 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and I I went to the chorus. Let's try that again. One, two, three, 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 oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
He does that exact same thing twice in a row. So as soon as he finishes up that last chord, he just goes right back into it. Let's see how that sounds. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven. Then he plays the first part again, the octave part again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Does that again? But then instead of going to the seventh fret chord with the pointer finger, he goes to the ninth fret with the pointer finger. So that means your pointer finger is gonna bar the top three strings on the ninth fret, pushes down on all three of those. Your pinky gets to stay where it is on the 11th fret of the G string. And we're gonna strum uh, one big one. We hold that out for half a beat. How many strums is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna do six strums. Now this, this is a big deal right here. We have to decide if we're gonna do all downs or if we're gonna do some up and down. Truth is, I think this would be a really good time to get some ups and downs in there. If you don't wanna mess with ups and downs, you can do all downs it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna show you some ups and downs. So watch this. You strum that first chord, hold it out for a second, not a full second, but a, a, you know, okay. And then you're on the same chord, you're gonna strum up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's starting with up, and you're gonna do six strums. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you, so you start with up, end with down, then you're gonna shoot your hand back. One, two, three, four frets to the fifth fret. So now pointer finger is on the fifth fret, pinky's on the seventh fret, and you're gonna strum up on that one. So check this out. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey! Notice how I'm up when I get to that one? Hey, ba, ba, boo, ba, 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 ba. Same exact strumming on this. We did that long strum, then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, six strums, then Pull your pointer finger off completely. So now the top three strings are open, and then you've got your seventh fret down there on the G string. What do you think about that? You're strumming up on that. So now we've got boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey. On this chord, the one with the open strings, the strumming is gonna be a little different. After the first big strum, we're still gonna start by strumming up, but we're gonna strum it seven times. So we've got the big strum, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Okay, so it means we start with up, we end with up. Then, starting with strumming down, we're gonna strum it another seven times. It is crucial that you do not count to 14. Count to seven, and then count to seven. So we've got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Do you have to count all of these every single time you play the song? No, you do not. What I, what I am asking you to do is to count these strums like with me as you're playing along with me, as you're learning the song, once you feel kind of comfortable with the song, you don't need to count it anymore. You can just do it by feel. But if you're sitting there trying to learn the rhythm and it's just not happening, counting how many strums you're doing, Nice way to try to get it accurate. We're not necessarily doing the like textbook, most strict exact way to count this. We're doing a way that I think is very uh, intuitive and accessible. That is my story. Let's play what we have so far of this chorus. So we're up on the ninth fret. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guess what happens next? We play those exact three chords again with the exact same strumming. Ex oh, 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 oh! Except when you get back to the ninth fret, you're gonna strum up instead of down on it. So watch this. I'm gonna play at full speed so you can see it. We've got. Uh, And look, I'm doing the exact same thing again. I did it twice. Starting it again. Ooh, did you see?
see that? So the third time through, I did the exact same thing again. I did bongo chicka bongo chicka bongo chicka bongo chicka bongo chicka bongo. When I get to the open string chord, I'm gonna strum up really big. Then I'm gonna strum only six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then. I go to the same shape chord, but on the seventh fret. So my pointer finger is pushing on the seventh fret of the top three strings. Pinky's on the ninth fret of the third string from the bottom. I'm gonna strum up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven strums. Then I go one, two frets back to the fifth fret, and I'm gonna strum starting with the down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, that's a lot of junk in the chorus. So we've got boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, open, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, What happens after that is you go back to the verse of the song. So we go. He plays the whole verse, whole pre-chorus, whole chorus. He does all of that again. I like, I think he does it like two times. The only thing that changes in the song after this is the third time that he gets to the pre-chorus. That's the part with the octaves. He does that, watch, this is what he does, he goes. So here's what that was. That was, you play that exactly the same as we did it before. But then when you get to this last part, you play ninth fret octave, 10th fret, and then he just plays open twice, just like the top two strings open, then he does that same part again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, uh, uh. See how that works? He does that like three times. Then he goes into the regular chorus part, or pre-chorus part, or whatever. I've, I've lost all sense of space and time Everlong by the Food Fighters. My name is Stuart. Like and subscribe.